Over the last two years, one thing that has always been a topic of conversation in Ethiopia is the civil conflict in the Tigri region that has led to the death of millions. Due to this, it is always a concern for anyone visiting the country and not to miss the question, is Ethiopia safe to visit? As we continue to pray for full peace and restoration of the country, I am happy to report that things seem to be at a better place. Recently, regional and world leaders have hailed the peace agreement between Ethiopian government and Tigrib leaders. This peace agreement signed has raised hope for the end of the two-year brutal conflict in the northern side of Ethiopia, and I pray and hope that we shall come to the end of talking about the civil war here in Ethiopia. Guys, yeah, so I'm coming to you from the rooftop of Science and Technology Museum. But um, this video is for me to answer one of the common asked questions on my channel recently. Especially after sharing about the protest that was going on and everything and a lot of news going on about Ethiopia. And one question that comes out is, is it safe to visit Ethiopia as of now? So I decided, you know what, the best way for me to answer this question is as I take you through the streets of Addis Ababa or Ethiopia here on the ground so you can be able to see for yourself the report. As you guys catch up with me here, uh, as we conclude on what is best, let me show you what Addis Ababa looks like today. And as you can see, I'm enjoying some beautiful views, but see you after you've seen how Addis Ababa currently looks. As much as it's good news for the agreement to have peace talks and to see how the war or the conflict can come to an end, I have to say this came as a surprise to many people that were following the whole conversation, especially after a continuation of two years of continuous conflict. And I thought I should share with you some of the information that we get to hear from this side up as part of the talks that were going on. Agreement has been reached to cease hostilities. Does that mean peace has returned to Ethiopia? Um, certainly not. It's a necessary measure, but it's far from sufficient. So it is critical that they have gotten to this stage, but peace will require a lot of complicated measures and it will take years. It will take years, um, but we are still trying to be optimistic. The last agreement did not last. How optimistic are we that this peace deal will last? Um, well, I think that the last one didn't, didn't last in the sense that they all sides still maintain their strengths uh, at that particular moment. And, and crucially, uh, it was a unilateral agreement. So they, there was no deal as such. Each side essentially made the announcement, announced the truth. But this time, it was uh, signed under the tut you know, tutorship of the African Union, with the, ob the observance of the United Nations and the United States and in regard. So there's a lot more actors involved, and the military situation on the ground also, I think, dictates it. And so there is a, a sense of uh, superiority, especially on the, on the federal side, but there's also an understanding that uh, peace, uh, peace deal, a negotiated deal, is necessary to end it. And so, uh, it is different. There's no guarantee that it will stick, but it's certainly different and, and, and I think more hopeful. Okay. Now, there were a lot of issues, misunderstandings here and there that led to the war in the first place. Has this deal resolved the issues that caused the war? Um, no, it does not resolve them, but it provides a framework for their resolution. Um, so if you look at the, the deal in detail, it provides for a lot of negotiated outcomes for some of the key issues, including the, the, the representation of uh, Tigray in the, in the center, the kind of interim administration that has to be established, and crucially also for, for the resolution of the contested uh, lands uh, between, between, a, uh, between Amhara and, and Tigray regions. Um, and so it's necessary, as I said, but it's, it's, it's not sufficient. It provides a framework, a necessary framework, um, and if the parties take advantage of them, um, I think they have the best chance to arrive at, at, at a negotiated, sustainable solution that will not only end this war, but also, uh, but, but also crucially, uh, end future wars, prevent future wars as well. As a Kenyan, I was pleased to see our former president participating in giving his opinion on this matter of reconciling and bringing peace to Ethiopia. And I was like, what did he have to say? But the ultimate responsibility for the implementation of this agreement lies purely in the hands of the people of Ethiopia. And it is my hope that coming from Pretoria, 
all parties will go back, engage their local populations, engage their militias, engage all the different communities, and begin this process of dialogue, a process that will without doubt involve compromise and understanding of each other's different positions. And all we can ask and call for is any destructive force from whatever part that seeks to destabilize this process, either from within or from without, should take note that the people of Ethiopia now desire peace and now desire to resolve their internal issues through peaceful means. Politics is a topic I tend to wish to run away from, but unfortunately, whether you like it or not, politics does affect our lives. Because imagine those that could be living happily here in Addis or even in diaspora or anywhere in Ethiopia. There are those that have family members in the northern side and even some have not heard from them for years at least for the last two years, because there's been disconnection of internet network, no water, no electricity and stuff like this. So we can barely just say we will never ever talk about political things that are going on. And being able to listen to different perspectives on this matter has enlightened me and put me in a better place. And I'm happy here to talk about how now we are talking about peace and not the progression of the conflict. Let me know in the comment section down below, what is your opinion on the peace talk? And uh, do you, what are your predictions basically? Do you see this being a success? And uh, I'd be glad to have the conversation and to hear whatever goes on as we continue to pray for full restoration of peace and sending love to those people that were directly affected by this conflict. Anyway, someone asked a $1 question that I thought would be nice for all of us to listen to. Mm. We're talking about a war that raged on for two years. A lot of people have lost their loved ones. Many have been displaced. I mean, many's lives have just been brought down massively. How does Ethiopia move on from this? How does Ethiopia reconcile with all of this? Um, I think that, that's perhaps the, 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 the million dollar question. Um, you're right, it has been a brutal, brutal war, particularly on the civilian population. Uh, hundreds of thousands, hundreds of thousands of soldiers and civilians uh, have, have died. Um, and most importantly, the propaganda, the hate speech and the, the animosity um, between Tigrayans and, and Amhara and Afars, but across the country, uh, has been has been extremely extremely uh, worrying. And so, in in that sense, I think that the most fundamental uh, job will not will not just be to silence the guns, but also to to silence the propaganda and and start essentially reversed gear uh, and use traditional traditional leaders, religious leaders, uh, and and public media to promote a new sense of identity, a new sense of relationship. Um, and so it will be difficult. I think uh, we've broken a lot of bones. Uh, we've broken a lot of a lot of minds. Um, but it, it will be necessary. Uh, I think sustainable peace will require it. Um, and in this regard, the agreement already anticipates a mechanism, a transitional justice mechanism, uh, to lead to reconciliation, healing, truth-telling, uh, and also as necessary accountability. Um, and then, of course, uh, also as necessary compensation and redress. For, for individual victims. And so, uh, you know, this is an outcome of uh, animosity, of, of hatred, uh, wow. of, of, of decades. And it will take uh, several years uh, before it is, it is completely resolved. This is the current state of Addis Ababa. And as you can see, in Addis Ababa, life is moving on as a normal or best to what I have seen. And you wouldn't know this beautiful country, well, as beautiful as you can see, is going through any form of conflict unless you go to places that now you'll find all those things happening. Uh, and th that is the Unity Park. Places for people to visit, they are still open and people are exploring and seeing life. And as you can see, there are still so many other people who have come to visit this new museum here in Addis Ababa. It is massive and I will show you a whole tour of the place very soon in my upcoming video because this museum it's the only kind of its own that I've seen around Africa. Anyway, my advice is you have booked your ticket to come to Addis Ababa. Go ahead and come and visit the capital city of Ethiopia. Uh, it's beautiful. You will love it. You'll have an amazing time. You can uh, also follow your instincts. I guess that is also a big part of 
you deciding whether you want to come here but i have to say things are pretty okay on this side and i'm happy otherwise i wouldn't be living in ethiopia if it wasn't safe at least for me to live here in addis ababa but big big love to all the people that are affected by all the things that are happening here and i hope that one day everything shall be reconciled sorry yeah so basically that's it i hope you enjoyed the view of addis ababa recently for now i'm gonna end this video here let me enjoy my beautiful view as well as i show you the beautiful side of addis ababa that you've not gotten to see because it's pretty pretty new i'm happy to share with you otherwise always always remember to pay time for that to ignite your soul until next time ciao so i'll be dancing and shouting over here and causing too much attention <laughs>